This week's episode of Awesome Cast is brought to you by Drobo, the lovely people who will make sure that your data is safe at all times. Go ahead and check it out at awesomecast.com. Click on the Drobo link on the right-hand side to learn more. Uh, this is a public service announcement brought to you by Fuzz One and the good folks of Sorgatron Media. Fellow pod campers, it is with the utmost pride and sincerity that I present this awesome cast as a combination of 649s and this weekend's activities to give you a great rehashing of why this is the best weekend ever. This podcast is rated PG-13 and not G. Kind of amazing. Amazing at Fuzzwad, a longtime fan of the show, providing the accordion rendition of our theme song, Getting Awesome, by somebody. Uh, by, uh, I don't have notes. I, have I can't notes. remember anything. Who, who's, who does the song? We used to know. I think it's Rattler. Yes, Rattler. by Rattler. Rattler, yes. Rattler. Yes, yes, it's been real great to. Have you seen Rattler? Have you ever have seen I a picture seen? of him? Uh, yes, I tried really? to send him an email and say, hey, we've been using your music. You know what's up, and and I gotta. Because go. when I I gotta be honest, when I picture Rattler, I think of like, uh, he's like, uh, say in his mid forties, he has like a, a snakeskin cowboy hat. That's I can like see that. Pulled up on the that. sides. I can definitely see. Maybe that. some cuffs and things. Definitely a Bowie knight um, knife or, or like four. I think, have you seen uh, the the anvil? The story of anvil. No. Oh. Um. <laughs> I think he has a beard. In case you didn't. You hear think that. he has a beard? Yeah. You think he has a beard? Yeah. Like a big beard or yeah. like a like a lumberjack. Like a huge beard. Arm. Really. No, I, like, I, like a little bit shorter than ZZ Top. A little bit but, shorter. So you mean like three feet instead of seven? Right. Okay. Exactly. Mm. I'm glad we're on the same page. Uh, so uh, what are we doing here? Uh, I don't know, but now I want to listen to some ZZ Top. ZZ Top. Um, we are at PodCamp Pittsburgh 6. Sure are. We have a live audience. Hi, live audience. Hi. Hey. Uh, there we go. There you go. Thanks for coming here instead of that stupid game show. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's how we roll. The gloves the come off that's, in the final session from that's the. A, that's right. That's right. From exactly. the. We, this is also this is a. Uh, an, a we are the lead organizers. Well, a <laughs> good a good, a good of ratio yeah. of the lead organizers. Yes. Uh, there's a there's, there's a one there. there. There's one there. I don't uh, know where Norm went. Where's the, Norm was here? Yeah, What's Norm that? was here. Is this like where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? I, I, mean, I see. We may have shamed Norm out of the. Out of we probably the, did. Oh, I said I was going to get him up on stage too. Uh, we did. That's why you left. We started the oh. offensive language pretty quickly. So. Oh, I see. I see. I said taint. Um. <laughs> <laughs> considering the, two. Considering what he's wearing. Okay, two taints. Right, now that's right. three. Yep. Yep. Going to keep it up. I have a lot taint. of editing to do. For this, this is thing. quite a tainted podcast. This is not getting on TV. Um, <laughs> PC so, TV. So uh, for those new, we are the awesome cast. We as it, what are, it says. Tech news, news banter, banter. Awesome. awesome. Uh, that that's, that's pretty much sums it up. We talked about gadgets. We talked about tech news. We talk about fun stuff. Is my own mic stand? Okay, through. you're just yeah. gonna hold it. You're just yeah. gonna hold okay. it there. Because yeah. that one's not picking me up. I don't think. No. So. We can. I, I don't know. No, don't worry about that. Okay. Don't worry no, about that. About the don't worry about, about these ones. That one? uh, so yeah, no, we're gonna do well like we did last year. Huh. We're gonna uh, kind of recap uh, our thoughts. You should put it in a vitamin Our thoughts. Water Hopefully, some other people's <laughs> thoughts on. Um, on the weekend? Yes, the weekend. The weekend at hand. The weekend of pod camp. The um, so so well, let's let's you know let's go amongst us. Rob, what what did you experience this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> what did I experience? Tell me about your experience this weekend. Um, do you want like the the legitimate answer? Or do you want the funny answer? <laughs> Um, let's go with the uh, legitimate legitimately answer. funny answer. Uh, well, we kick things off with the keynote from Jeremy Fuxa. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fuxa, it's K S, not S K. Norm, wherever you are, Norm. Oh, that's why you went away. That's why I went away. Like, you knew I was gonna make fun of him. You're gonna um, be like, and by the way, yeah, yeah, pretty good keynote. Uh, kick things off, and then all kinds of sessions. I saw, I saw Missy trying to teach people how to use the internet, which, which was adorable. <laughs> adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, you're, I'm, 
Every I'm, time I mention the 101 sessions, you, you yeah, I what? me a grimace and... I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep that to myself. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're a stronger person than I, is all I have to say. Right, it, it's not her. Yeah, it's, it's not you it's by not any stretch. You, it's, it's And it's not the people who attend them. I'm just saying, <laughs> you're a stronger person than I. <laughs> I dig myself out of that hole. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, what did we do after after yesterday? We went to, after, uh, yesterday. after yesterday, after pod camp yesterday. Okay. We went to uh, Bar Louie, mm -hmm. and, uh, and we had some shots. Yes. We had 649s. NyQuil. We had NyQuil. It, it tastes like NyQuil. That it was... smelled like Luden's. You know, like the cherry <laughs> cough drops? Yeah. The really tasty yeah, ones? Little, oh, the, the cherry, yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah. like if you had taken like a glass of whiskey, and filled it with Ludens and like swirled it around. That's exactly what the shot was. Oh, we got a live tweet. A live uh, tweet. From Kay Dutters. Uh, Kay, Hello, Hello Kitty, Kitty has, has a cat, cat named Charm. Chammy. Char Charm. Charmy. Char Charmy. Char There's two M's. Yeah. Charmy. 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 <laughs> from this far away, it looks like Shammy, so I'm going to say the cat's name is Shammy. No, it's I don't care. That'd be a cool name for a cat. It's either Charmy or Shammy. Which what do you want? Which is weird because it's a cat owning a cat. Chamoys? Let me just point that out, by the way. Is cat this has the a show? cat. Is this, is this the show that breaks down the logistics of Hello Kitty? No. No? <laughs> We're done now. We're moving on. Okay. Wow. So, I mean, what, um, what you know, if Keynote was great, was there any Keynote sessions you? that you, uh, I know, you usually float around. Did I you do, do floating, or I'm, did you uh, actually sit in on some sessions fully this year? I'm a floater. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. Wow. Um... I didn't, uh, I sat in on Justin Kaunaki's session. Oh, you the did. Kaunaki. You stayed for the you whole did. thing, too. I yeah, did. That's, that's impressive. amazing. He had at least 20% of my attention the whole time. <laughs> Good for him. And, uh, and I unfollowed, like, 50 people from Twitter in the process. Um, <laughs> I'll be honest. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't inspired by Justin necessarily. I mean, this is just. I um, had time. I sat in one place, and I'm going to unfollow. And I sat one. And I'm just going to flip through and decide who's. Everybody needs being, a little pruning every once. In every a while, once right? in a while, yeah. you have to prune. If you haven't tweeted in 300 days, you're. That's it. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely yeah, do that. Oh, you haven't. You haven't tweeted yeah. since 2009. So I took. I, <laughs> I took the. I don't the, do it too often. I took Justin's speaking moment as an opportunity to do more important things. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Fantastic. I love you, I, Justin. I see you get so much out of the podcast. I love you, Justin. How about you, Chachi? <laughs> what about? <laughs> what, uh, uh, what What did you? Expect? What did you what, do? What did you I, like out of podcast this year? I, I floated a lot. Okay. Um, I caught some of this and some of that. I, I intended to go to one session until. Was it the game show session? No, because no. that's happening right now. And you really can't do that. There's no one there. There's no one there. Really? Yes, high five. Yes. We canceled it. High five. I, I shouldn't high five this. We should do a game show. We, we should do a game the session. <laughs> that might be something of a competition. <laughs> <later>. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, no, I, I, I attempted to go to some sessions that I thought were going to be one thing, and they weren't. So okay. I left. Well, that, that, that happened. That's the rule of yeah, two feet. Right. If you don't like it, move. Exactly. I, I, That's fine. I executed that rule. I used it. Well done. Life. Way to execute. Yes. It's great. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. And then we did NyQuil. And we did NyQuil. Maybe not. At a bar. Yeah. Was, there, was there anything you uh, you stopped in on that was, that, that, that was interesting? That I sat in on? Yeah. Uh, it was more people's reactions to the sessions. Okay. That I was having fun watching than... Well, I mean, because I mean, some of the stuff I sat in on, I knew. Mm -hmm. Sure. And this happens. So I, I pop in, take a look at the crowd, and leave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's some sessions that had some really funny crowds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, and then, uh, and then today we started with uh, with Sean Amirati's keynote, which I, I was great. which was great, which was fantastic. Um, you know, we seriously this year, uh, I don't know. I, I think Norm is to blame for this. Had a really <laughs> great bunch of keynotes. Like this is the best hey, keynotes. Hey, hey, and hey, Rob. Hey, thank you. And Rob. I'm responsible for Jeremy. Okay. No, you're okay. Not. Okay. Uh, I had to pull teeth to get Jeremy. You yeah. know how many how many emails I had to send to convince certain people to allow me to. Hi, Missy. What's up? <laughs> but no, but but it shows because uh, that was the the best keynotes I think we have ever. Yeah, had and, and and Sean was, uh, what? What's that? Brogan, Brogan. What about Brogan? 
Brogan, Brogan was good. Brogan was good. But that was had, a while ago. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, I it was can't years ago. And two and whatever. I mean, come on. We're at uh, six now. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, like for for a while. I mean, I, this is the first time where it's been like a full. It, it was like a full on presentation. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we it feels like we've kind of gave given people uh, you know a few minutes to speak about social media and why it's important. Mm-hmm. But this was a full. It really was its own session. Sure. Uh, more than I, I think it has been in the past. Because I mean, we've had we've had years where you know like four. People People have speak, spoken between like organizers and and you know Brogan or Kanaki or somebody mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and and this year like these guys came and and like I didn't expect to come in and, and, and see a uh, uh, startups in Pittsburgh keynote this morning. Right. Yeah. That really I surprised. Me. I didn't. Was there a title for the keynote? Not at all. Nope. Um, it was just his name. And, I, yeah. and for those who don't, explain who uh, who who uh, uh, did that this morning. Sean Amirati, who is uh, editor in chief of Read Write Web, which is uh, one of the say three largest tech blogs um, on the entire internets. Mm-hmm. So uh, kind of a big deal. He's also a pretty big leader in all of the entrepreneurship oh, okay. uh, startup groups that exist in Pittsburgh. Um, and a pretty big influence. And on that note, I felt that um, what he had to say, like it, it was exactly what I wanted to hear as far as like something to get exactly. me started for the day. Exactly. It had been a while since I had had the, the inspirational entrepreneurial speech because as we've talked about on the show and for the people that we've had on this show, there is, there's the combined Pittsburgh pride as well as an amazing entrepreneurial spirit mm-hmm. in this city. Definitely. Um, Definitely. And, and because of that, there's this like electricity that happens. And there are a lot of companies that have this this inflated idea in their head that you have to leave Pittsburgh to be successful. Mm-hmm. And a large part of Sean's message was that there's plenty of VC funding in Pittsburgh if you have a product. And if you need help, there's an amazing amount of help in Pittsburgh. Um, and especially, you know, everybody describes Pittsburgh as an incredibly friendly city. Yeah. And all of these things help each other. And and the biggest message that came out of the keynote was that you know we need to we need to convince Pittsburgh to stop trying to leave Pittsburgh to benefit Pittsburgh. Exactly. Uh, I actually had the That's opportunity. Really what it was. Uh, we, we were shooting something for Unsung uh, this week down at Carnegie Mellon. Uh, SponsorChange.org actually, and that, that that should be up. I was checking if the, the no. logo looks squished in it. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's it's, it's an, okay. an oval. You're a designer. Okay. It's an okay. oval on my screen, and it's a circle up there. But, uh, but I was down at Carnegie <laughs> Mellon, and we're, I was talking. Uh, uh, you stop it. Sponsorchange.org down there, and I had the opportunity to go over to Project uh, Project Olympus. Yeah. Um, and it was a really good incubator over there. Mm-hmm. A few companies I know I've seen through Alpha Lab were over there. I actually ran, ran into uh, our guy from uh, Geneva Mars that was on the show, mm-hmm. um, and it was really cool. And I talked to a lot of them about like, you know, hey, I, you know, I think you know we need to do more to show there's something here, this community in here. This, I mean, I, I think the community is there amongst the people that are already in it, but there needs to be like some more awareness that, hey guys, there is a community here, and mm-hmm. this is the place to start up. And there needs to be a little bit more uh, yeah. evangelism as far as that goes. Yeah, for, you know? for such a, a small community attitude that Pittsburgh um, enables, Yeah, there's this funny disjointedness that happens where people don't believe that a lot of stuff is, like I talk, yeah. when I moved to Pittsburgh, Mm-hmm. And I pointed out that Pittsburgh has a huge tech presence, one of the largest in the country. Exactly. People are like, no, you're crazy. What are you talking about? And Did you forget that Carnegie Mellon is here? Yeah. Like, this <laughs> and you know how many, times, how many times in tech podcasts from, from the coast I've heard Car- Carnegie Mellon within the past like month? Oh yeah, of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh yeah, you and I, I hear so much when we talk about tech news and when we talk about the stuff that we do mm-hmm. that. I forget it's here, right? You know, right? It, literally in our backyard. Yeah, you know, it is right and, here. And, and it was really cool to see, you know, something like Project Olympus, and and you know, of course, you know, Alpha Lab, we've we've you know seen for years at the meet and greets, and and seeing all the cool stuff coming out of there. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you know, I, and I think you know there there's you know we, we can do do a lot, you know, and, you know, like we try to do here. We talked to No Wade and a few other guys from Alpha yep. Lab. Yep. Um, and and just to get that word out there. You yeah, because Pittsburgh is is in a fantastic place to embrace this. The spirit that we have, mm-hmm. combined with companies like Google that are pulling in and CMU putting more money into the tech sector, exactly putting all of this together, and and Pittsburgh is already an amazing city, and we are still in in that part of a, a city's development coming out of the Renaissance, or exactly creating a larger Renaissance coming out of you know downfall of the steel industry and all that that has made Pittsburgh as cheap as we all know it to be. So if you, if you want to to you know kickstart. A, a startup or anything like that in Pittsburgh, it's incredibly cheap and your barrier to entry is much lower than any other city that you exactly. go to. And I think it is the attitude. Like I think we see that here at PodCamp. I mean, this is a very strong, okay, not at the moment, but it's a very <laughs> long, over the weekend, it's a very strong showing, you know? I yeah. mean, we feel this is a 
large theater. We like filled it with uh, uh, mostly new people. You oh, know, absolutely. It's, people want to get yeah. involved, and this is the city that has it. I mean, I've mm -hmm. talked to a few people that have uh, moved away. It's like, you know, this isn't here, yeah. you know? Yeah, we, and we, everybody who moves away from Pittsburgh, they always end up coming back at some Yeah, uh, Carlos Swank. Well, you went to Tennessee, and uh, and you have to come back every year. I mean, it, it, it be, you know, that, that's that's... That that's that's powerful, you know. There's, yeah. there's something that, that shows there's something going on there. Yeah. You know, I'm just worried. I am worried though that that is becoming Pittsburgh's best kept secret, and we all know it, and we yeah, all talk about it. Yeah. It's like, and we need to get out there and say, hey guys, look over here. Yeah. You know, stop looking at New York City, stop looking at Silicon Valley, but you should consider yeah. us as well. I mean, it's a it's a blessing and, and a disease, and I'm, Portland sort of went through the same thing where it was a. a uh, a manufacturing industry that fell flat, much like our steel industry, and then mm -hmm. when that happens, all of the housing becomes dirt cheap, and that's when the artists come in and they increase the cultural value of the city, and then it increase the income of the city and the population, and then after that, business follows, and after that, you suddenly can't afford an apartment anymore. Yeah, it's, it's a vicious cycle. And then it keeps okay. going and going and going, and it's really sad. But for the time being, uh, it's a great time to be a tech business in Pittsburgh. And two things. All right. Number one. What? We never introduced ourselves. I don't know who you are. I, I, I just yeah, sat I down. I have a name tag, well, and he has a name tag need, down there. If you yeah, want to look at down my... there, too. <laughs> <laughs> and also, we have a question from the audience. We do have a question a from question. the audience. Okay. Um, so first, this is Michael Sorg. Hi. Rob De La Creta, and I'm Chachi Says. Sure. Um, I got excited with the applause. I just kind of went. Yeah, I, We're just like, I, know, I rode the wave. I rode the wave, and I dropped my yeah, mic. We, we Whoa. Never introduced Whoa. Ourselves. Crotch um, mic. Uncle Crappy, Crappy in the crowd wanted to know what our clout scores were. Uh, you know, so I, I took the liberty of looking this up. Oh, can we? Oh, can no. we? Wait, wait, can we back this up a little bit? Now, this was this was part of Justin's talk yeah. yesterday, and he was he was talking about like you know numbers of oh, BS up, and this. It's amusing. Um, I, and and uh, one was cloud brought, got brought up, and yes. what the hell does that number mean? Uh -huh. How many people are you reaching? How do they come up with it? You're not telling me about it. All I know is I got a free uh, deodorant, Axe yeah. deodorant coming to my place. The truth is that it doesn't uh, mean anything. Right. No, 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 it, it doesn't. Does. Yeah, the does. point is it's, that it doesn't it's, mean it's anything. It's a marketing ploy. Um, but but the, so what is your clout? My clout is 53. 53. And mm -hmm. I'm influential about Pittsburgh, guns, and... <laughs> guns? Guns? <laughs> I, I can, we actually broke this down and okay. I can explain it, but and the third thing I don't remember. Okay. But the guns is from my many tweets about finger guns. <laughs> You're that's, in, that's what we influential about finger guns. Yeah, on that's the what we assume. Okay. Um, Rob. Yes. You, uh -huh. sir, uh -huh. have the lowest score at the table. I know. Really? I know. Yes. Well, I really. Yeah. He has a forty-one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, as per my Twitter talk last year, I keep my internets tight. Yeah, he tight, does. Tight. You guys are all fast and loose, <laughs> just swinging your internets all around, hitting people in the face. <laughs> and it's not good. Sword. Yes. You, sir. Yes. Have yeah. the highest score. You're rocking table. there. 50, I do. 54. With the 54. Yeah, you know, uh, there's that, and I, and I looked at it. It says like my reach is like 400 people or something like that, which is like half of my followers. <laughs> so that means that means half my followers are robots. Right. Um, right. I think that's, that's how that breaks down. Uh, but then I look at like my influ not my influences, but the people I influence. Mm. Um, I was at Jane Pitt, a uh, couple other people, and then the awesome cast in the Mayhem show. So you influence yourself, is what you're saying? I call it Twitterbation. Twitterbation. Yes. Well, it is the endless circle jerk that is exactly, the internet. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. my, my third one is Netflix. Netflix. Thank you. Did you Did you look <laughs> up what what our for me and him, where I, I didn't, but I can if you'd like me to. Yeah, I'm really curious because oh, I was. Um, Let's see what Rob is influential about. I'm really because I, I looked it up yesterday Netflix. and I didn't I didn't see a thing because I yeah you know, because I always make fun of the people who complain about Netflix and okay. their changing of services. Oh, yeah. Like anytime someone whines about Netflix, I complain changing, about it on principle. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. You just no, hate Netflix. You I complain Netflix. about Netflix. Yes, like the whole service, the whole thing. These people are complaining about. Uh, Netflix changing the way they bill. Okay, yeah, that their, their whole billing change. Where I they know, Netflix is dying because I can't play the, my physical the, media. Have anymore. you guys seen the Jason Alexander video on that? Yes, I have. The uh, the worst thing that ever happened to white people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Look that up. That's pretty good. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, you, Rob, use the internet faster, would you? You are influential God. about Pittsburgh. Sure. Uh -huh. Video no. right. and music. Wow, way to be music. general. What do you do with music? I, um, he talks about music or something. I don't I, think I... I never see you talk about I music. I don't talk about music. I don't talk about well, video right, either. Let me, let I might post Sorg. a couple links, but what do, you, um, what do you get? You, Sorg, are influential about Pittsburgh, Labs, and WWE. 
Labs? Labs? Labs. Labs. I don't know. Part-time chemist? Black Labs? Black Chocolate Labs. Chocolate Labs, Labradors, Retrievers, Labs. Dogs. That's, that's but I mean, perplexed me. And the whole reason I even bothered to answer this question is because it seems like the whole the whole theme of the weekend is to bash clout. <laughs> this, is sure. the, the, so, this is the pod camp to discredit clout. Yeah, uh, so e- I mean, other than receiving free crap for doing nothing, mm-hmm. Um, there's really no. We, we we talked about it a little bit more. It's like you know, it's actually, it's not a a number that I can be like, hey, I'm a social media expert, right? And because yeah. my cloud score is da da da. I mean, I, I you know, you get the Facebook notifications yeah. that are like so and so as a cloud it's thing. Another network I looked network. at it, saw it was a scam, and didn't sign up. That's what happened. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I signed up because I just. Yeah. Like, well, you I got your deodorant yesterday, like, so well, now I, you've I signed did up before because I, I try to okay. get into Spotify. Um, <laughs> Like everybody else, right? Uh, right. But it, but no, it, it's it's all a ploy to make you feel important, and uh, they get these numbers and say, hey, look how influential these people. They're sending those numbers to hacks deodorant, getting promotions. They, sure. they, they have they're getting their money. They're getting their money. They're doing their thing. So um, so um, so Cloud just wants to know where Coco the Furby is. Coco the Furby. They were watching from home. They're, oh, okay. So they were just outside. I yeah, know. they were just out. They went home? Yeah, they left. Assholes. Man. I know. <laughs> Man. God. So, you. yeah. They want to know where you. the Furby Looking is. You. Looking at you. Hopefully they're watching this one and that. You yeah, with yeah. your box. Yeah? <laughs> box full of vitamin water. Um, I think it's time for something fun. For something fun? Yes. You like, didn't what kind of fun? the question. What? Oh, what? oh uh, the, the Furby is... Where is, is the Furby? Uh, Furby. Where is the Furby? Oh, it's on my studio. You're losing it was staring at on me your last studio. Night. It's, a, it's on it's, top of your you know, studio. It's in, my, in my office, and, well, when you, and right, it keeps me, me company when I'm editing late, late mm. Tuesday nights. Let me ask you this: Don't rub your leg up is against. Is there me. ever a time where you feel like the Furby is just looking into your soul, so you have to turn it around? Like, does that happen? <laughs> no. I wanted to do that with Zombie Bunny yesterday. <laughs> it creeped me out. It is a creepy. Bunny. Beth and I were sitting at lunch. Beth Albert, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're sitting at lunch, and the bunny had had sat down and put his like paws on the table, and I was like a good fifty feet away, but he had just kind of hunched over and he crooked his head to the side, and you can't see what he's looking at. Right. But it looked like he was staring dead at me. Now imagine going uh, fifteen hours of video gaming. Yeah. And having him come in while you're pretty much half asleep, and playing. Uh, Raving rabbits. Yeah, raving rabbits. <laughs> raving rabbits. That was For tremendous. Me. So not only did I have to be active, you had to stand but up. I had to stand up and stand next to him and play this game. And in between every mini game, he would just stop and look at me. He's a lot shorter in person. He is. Yeah. Hmm. So this is episode sixty-nine. It is episode sixty-nine. Right. Yes. Appropriately so. Yes. So are uh, we gonna, how are we going to celebrate episode sixty-nine? Well, I, I believe we have a volunteer. We to do have help a volunteer to help. 69. I think so. Yeah. Um, so, do we want to? You want to do that now? Time yeah, for the thing. Okay. okay. Coming to the stage now. Yes. Beth. So last year at PodCamp, um, it seems like that we always have. <laughs> this enormous, happened two two years in a row. I think. Yeah. It, it seems like we always have an enormous amount Should of make stickers sure. left. If I get up, um, it's gonna break. Yeah. Yeah. That's why uh, he's. For he's example, there. <clears throat> this is all from last year. Yeah, there's a lot more, too. And this isn't half of it. Oh, hey, uh, shout out to John Fisher at Sticker Giant. Yes. Thank you um, for the stickers. So last year, and it's going if you went way to off the Pocket too. website, you saw... He's going to do the thing. Miss Albert's ass. <laughs> wow. It's just, this just, <laughs> wow. Advertising podcast. Yes. And so we're going to continue that tradition. Yes. Chris. Chris. Would you like to grab a sticker? We are going to uh, could, uh, permit Chris, owner of Thick Bikes on the south side of Pittsburgh, right so I can put your ass on camera. significant other of one Beth, <laughs> to start the, the spirit of the stickering of the ass. <laughs> yes! There we go. All right. So, Chris is going to stand here for a while <laughs> and put stickers on Beth's ass. That's All fine. Right, we'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll check in on them. You just keep going store. through the stack. We'll check, yeah. It, yeah, check up on it. Yeah, just keep working at it. Just keep working at it. Yeah. It's gonna take so, a minute. Um, yeah, <laughs> like, oh, so I have to hang out here all show. Yeah, yeah the whole show. The whole show. Uh, yeah, you should have gotten a nicer chair. Yeah. Oh wait, she's paying us to do this now. Oh damn! She's wow. You got a dollar. <laughs> got a whole dollar. <laughs> that angle is nice. That is amazing. <sighs> this 
So, uh, happy... <laughs> Did this just turn into the Howard Stern show? Yes, this is, is a little bit... It's definitely a little bit turned into Howard Stern. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you uh, willingly volunteered for You that. did. Right. Yeah. I think I jokingly suggested it, and then you nodded in, like, exceeding approval. Yeah. So then it became a thing. So yeah. this is really your fault. It is your fault. You do it to yourself. Yep. Next time, you'll say no. Yeah. There you go. Help yourself. Yeah. Should we let everyone else put a sticker on here? Is, is that okay? This is she's I'm game. Right here, so. All right. If you guys want to put a sticker on Beth's ass, just line it up. Line here to the Form a line. And no we'll, takers. We'll hand out the stickers. So. I'm not kidding. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from here. No, I don't. There's know. no place to go from up, right? You know, you know what the best part is? No, on the other view. Go to the oh, other okay. view. <laughs> With the you cup. You can see it. how to direct. You can see it in the background. You can. It's like on this. She's like. Yeah. I gotta get the angle. There, there, that is Beth. That, yeah, that, sh right that there. Sh I can't. Oh, my brain. <laughs> oh, microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it, so, yeah. it. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh. That's right there. Yeah, oh, it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. We put stickers on asses. We put, wow. Uh, so what else we got? Not the weirdest thing I've done on a podcast, oddly. No. Um, what is the weirdest thing you've done on a podcast, Mike? The weirdest thing I've done on a podcast. Uh, wow. If I go walk around the audience, can you hear me? I think we can hear you. Yeah, we won't be able thing. to see you. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. Do that's you fine. guys have any questions for us? I think we could, we'll take live questions. <laughs> this could get dangerous. We, we, yeah. <laughs> no one? Wow. No one at all? Uh, well, they don't know anything about us, probably. They should. <laughs> I mean, I'm famous on the internet. We own the internet. <laughs> Beth's ass is famous on the uh, yeah. Very famous. And this famous is... on the south side for a short period, yes. I imagine. I mean, we did have the outline of your ass in a sticker plaster around a telephone pole, so. Yeah. This is about half of what we had last year. Classy bunch. This is about half of what we had last year. 2.30. Right? So we got 15 minutes to waste. Is that Hold what on. this is? There's a question down there. We have a question. <laughs> we have a question from Shadow. <laughs> From the internet. Chachi's going for a walk right now. Shadow is from the internet. Yes, he is. Chris has got a good strategy here with the even uh, coverage. Okay. It's pretty good. It is very neat. Do you want to know the okay cast or whatever? There's 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 a really there's, there's exceedingly honest answer to that. So. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this is actually Awesome Cast version 2. The original Awesome Cast is something that I started with two friends of mine, one in Connecticut and one in Missouri. Um, and it didn't work because of the whole timetable difference. And none of us had time to do what Mike uh, so honorably does every week with the editing and the interneting to make people actually see the podcast. It's um, kind of the important part. It's the important part. So, but at that time, I had bought the domain. <laughs> And I just sat on it. That's dedication. Oh, okay. I'm, and then I'm eventually, that, after, when I moved to Pittsburgh, uh, you know, I got to know Mike and PodCamp and all that. And, and we, uh, I think he actually came to me first, but I had always wanted to do a tech podcast. And I was like, well, I've got the sweet domain, so we may as well. I think I was, uh, we, were, we were doing it. We were, we were trying to get ready to launch for it. And I'm like, I think we got the concept down. We need a name. Well, but we need a name, and I really don't have any good ideas. And you're like, well, I got this. this I got this thing. Like, and it's the awesome cast. It's so, the okay, awesome that's cast. Good. Uh, and, and that's really it. Not, nothing terribly exciting. No, so, not at all. Anybody else? Questions? Anybody else? We could go for academics. Academics? Acad well, I mean, we're, we are people of professions and things. We know things. We do know things. We do know things. <laughs> You know how to how to video things. I do the video and, and recording and the things with the lenses and shoots uh, and lenses. Yeah, yeah. And I do uh, picture things. You do picture things. I do picture things. Picture, and picture pages. Picture pages, technology things, yeah. uh, creative things, in in things things. There was actually somebody that I'm working with in the in the audience a minute ago, but he uh, oh, yeah. he ran away. I'm really sorry. Maybe he went to start that game show. He might. He, he said he actually wants to come on the on the thing. Oh, okay. On our thing. That's good. Yeah, Ooh. but apparently he didn't want to be on this thing. <laughs> Probably because I said taint too many times. Oh, okay. Yeah, that could be it. That I could be it. Go track. Go track <laughs> him down. The range is that far away. <laughs> In the elevator. Ding. <laughs> Chachi's adventures. Um, and Chachi, uh, Chachi uh, is a. Are, what, what is your title? What do you do? I'm an IT specialist. IT specialist. Yeah. Okay. I, and that's one of the things I think works really well with this show is that we do come from different walks of sorts. 
Um, so we, we all have different angles when we talk about technology. Yeah. So, and that's how we got to 69 episodes. Right, and I'm um, the only one on the show that uses Windows, Android, and Windows. Yeah, so, well, I mean, if you're going to fail once, you may as well do it twice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Uh, I hate you, too. Uh, yeah. so. It's too bad nobody has a BlackBerry. Oh. Um, that's think, a shame. I think we need to chime in and see what some other people think. Uh, you, Uncle Crappy, you want to keep yep. the tradition alive and join us? Sure. Come on up, buddy. Since we're using the chair for the uh, ass cam, because we, we, we you want to, me to leave. Yeah, you can leave. You want me to leave? You can take a powder. Fuck okay, out of here. I, gotta pee. I hate your face. I hate your face. <laughs> Keep the people entertained. Oh no, she gave them the chair. This is, wow. This is She's awesome. just gonna. Wow, you are a trooper. <laughs> I don't have to go. Dedication right there. <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere. Can I, I say it. album art, by the way? I didn't get to um, see what the video looked like until right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what is the the focal length on that lens, Mike? Focal oh, what? Is it a short throw lens? <laughs> are we are we approaching a, a wide angle lens? Would you I say? I don't know about that. The other one has a wide angle. I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Okay. I was, I was just curious if we were inflating the ratio of best, I, of best bottom. I don't know. <laughs> it seems about accurate. Yeah. Anyways, hi Uncle Crappy. UncleCrappy.com. Our first guest on the show, way, yes. way back in the day. Oh god, that was... Uh, back, back in the day. That was yeah, 69 episodes ago. ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so days. what have... Uh, you've been to a lot of stuff. You actually did a good session on Trolls that I uh, sat in on yesterday. I enjoyed that greatly. Um, it, it, well, it, tell, did, tell us did, about did, that. You did that. You, um, did. That turned out a little bit differently than <laughs> we might have planned. Okay. Um, I, I was asked to do it uh, because of my, my affiliation with Beaver County Times, what I do professionally, and how we deal or don't deal with uh, some of the comments that we get on the site. Um, so I had some thoughts of what we can do, uh, what other newspapers do, what can be done better. And it's all, all stuff that's, that's mostly applicable to <laughs> other... <laughs> what are you doing? I just poked Rob in the eyeball because he told me not to touch him. <laughs> Oh. And back to the butt so shot. It, it, <laughs> I gotta check in on it every once in a while. It, it, it sort of got sidetracked a little bit like this has. But, oh, okay. But Side this, we this, had a track. This, this one's a little more fun. Uh, There's no track here. No. no track. <laughs> no track. Uh, was there anything that you uh, attended that uh, kind of stuck out for you? I didn't get to get to a ton of sessions. Um, uh, Justin is always fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I try not to miss him. Uh, the session on collecting, just one hour ago. Uh, was very very. Was it the vinyl guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the guy that. I, yeah. Uh, Paul Paul Rosenblatt. Yeah. I believe his name. Yeah, I think so. Um, that's interesting, both because of the uh, of what he collects uh, mm -hmm. and the musical stuff, and and it, it, that's that kind of writing is applicable to almost anything. Didn't have to do yeah. records. Uh, I immediately made some connections about writing about beer. Yeah. Um, I was talking to him earlier, and it was kind of funny. It's not every day you see somebody open a messenger bag and see a full collection of vinyl next to their laptop. <laughs> yeah. That's that's dedication. Yes, it is. He's a collector. Yes, Nice, nice. So, uh, so, so, what did you get out of Pod Camp this year? Um, a lot of vitamin water. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh man. Thank you to Vitamin Water. Thank you. There you go. For providing all of us with kidney stones. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a fun evening. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pee so much. Uh, that was that was mostly it. A lot of vitamin water. Uh, a couple T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, a couple a couple T-shirts. <laughs> no, we good, do good uh, stuff. once again. Yeah. Excellent. All right, are we mission accomplished is where we are. Oh, we have a. We full are mission accomplished. Is that the whole stack? No. Oh, that's just but the whole. We have butt. full coverage. The <laughs> whole. <laughs> the whole butt. Well, hang on. Let me. Let Maybe me. You should, wait, uh, what's keep up? Going. Hang on. Like just go down her leg. Oop. legs. To Oop. see how much we can. I don't know. That's up to you guys. We've already <laughs> humiliated them enough by asking them to come up on stage, and then we put stickers on her butt. I mean, no, she volunteered for that. That is her fault. I'm blaming you. Oh, now we have to get pictures, so... Well, yeah. You should see some of the quotes from the show, though. <laughs> I mean, on Twitter? Seriously, quote it. Stand right here so we can put stickers on your ass. <laughs> that's a line we used. Yeah, that, that's about right. It's the only episode in which we've said I don't know, but words. I just got Follow Friday. <laughs> Literally, right this now. Is a wow. Yeah, it's Sunday. I know. He was busy Friday. He says. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's up, you Jagoff? <laughs> wow. Who busy? Well, I'm pretty sure I met the other day. Oh. Yeah. I didn't meet him. No. 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 
So, <laughs> there's, there's so much happening over here on the wrong camera. So this turned into the Stickers on Best Butt podcast is what just That's happened. all right. That's all right. You always have to do, have to do something uh, different for the live show. So, and we don't, we don't have enough people to crowd surf, so. <laughs> you know, <laughs> funny thing. Um, you want to put this back on? Yeah, I should put this back on so we have a fit. Oh, 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 no. Mic, Mic issues. We're good. There's a, thank you. I'm going to okay. point out there's a population problem in the audience. Beth. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Thank you, Beth. Thank, thank you, Beth, for joining us. I squish when I sit. There's your show title. I squish when I sit. Yeah, I need to write that down. Awesome cast from PodCam. I squish yeah, when I sit. Yeah, raise itself. Yeah, raise itself. Um, the uh, the populated pl- yep, population in the audience is probably um, about on par with Nebraska, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And probably just as many game stops. So, probably. Um, Oh, Nebraska. <laughs> that's about as many game stops yes. there is. And as there are people in the audience. Yes. And there, as there are in the audience. Nebraska. Nebraska. I wonder what they're doing in Nebraska right now. You know what? They'll never Not have a pod camp. Corn. Not pod camp. <laughs> yeah. Probably corn. Did you, hey. That's what they do. Like, what are you doing today, Bob? Oh, corn. Take, take a guess. Take a guess. We looked, at, we looked this up. We did. How, it, I'm asking the audience, because okay. we obviously know the answer. Sure. But... If you had to guess, how many Apple stores would you say there are in Nebraska? Oh. <laughs> That's the true test. Of no, no, seriously. You were there. Stop it. <laughs> is that your answer? Is, is that a combined answer? Is that wait, a two-digit wait, wait, answer wait, wait, for one number? A, a zero and a one. Yes. So zero, one. Zero, one. That would be Octal. Octal. Okay. Okay. Zero, one would be that. Yes, you're yes. correct. There, there's one. Possibly the biggest nerd in, in the, the audience. Whole, in the whole state of Nebraska. Yes. Did he say one. octal? He did. He did. What does that mean? You let me down every right. day, Michael every Sorg. Day. Every day. <laughs> you call yourself a nerd. <laughs> Code is your card is revoked. Oh. You're done for. <laughs> what am I doing? Wow. So uh, what do we want? We want to. What do we got? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, does anybody else want to come up tell us about their uh, uh, pod camp you know, experience? Uh, Bashing mics off. Well, of you, mics. you know who should be on the show. I mean, it's kind of famous. Okay. I think I'm gonna try and pull him up here. You're gonna try and pull him up here. Lonely Sandwich. Would you like to be on the show? <laughs> we have Lonely yes. Sandwich here. It's tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on down. Oh, there we go. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Um. This, we found the twin of, of Lonely Sandwich is what happens, which also means we can tag this episode, Lonely, Lonely Sandwich, <laughs> and Adam Lizagor. There you go. He's going to go through and the And maybe room. they'll listen. Maybe. And maybe. We'll what, is your, uh, what is your actual name, sir? Uh, Matt Carrick. And uh, is this your first pod camp? It is, yes. And uh, what do you think? Uh, it's excellent. Met a lot of great people, learned a lot, uh, hopefully help out my blog. So. Awesome. Uh, would you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a free opportunity. See, so your, your appearance is giving you fame right now. That's right. Would you like to plug your blog? Uh, sure. Uh, my wife and I write a booze blog. Uh, it's called, uh, I prefer the term booze hound. Nice. Um, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and uh, mostly we write about cocktails and spirits, but we do beer every once in a while, too. So. My kind of guy. <laughs> we just you know, I'm our kind of guy. knock this you out of the just, park here. Yep. It's a good fit. We like booze. So uh, we're going to ask you the same question we ask everybody else. Sessions you went to that you liked? Uh, I went to the uh, collecting session today. Mm-hmm. That was excellent. And I had actually uh, uh, talked with him earlier. And uh, we uh, hatched the, uh, the seeds of a plan to do a, a joint uh, event where he will play a record and we will match it with a drink. Ooh. So. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I like that. This, yeah. this is what PodCamp is all about. That's right. Find us online, and uh, hopefully you'll see that sometime in the future. Fantastic. Tremendous. Uh, I have to ask, does Adam know that you're his twin? Uh, I tweeted it yesterday. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've been closely monitor- monitoring his Twitter feed, to see and he, he hasn't he... mentioned it yet. So. Mm. And I know Jeremy retweeted you. Ah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. He was pretty happy. <laughs> 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 pretty happy about that. There we go. We can swap seats. Thank you, Lonely Sandwich. Thank you. Happy to have you. And I'm really sad that when Jeremy asked who Lonely Sandwich, if anybody knew who Lonely Sandwich was, like three people raised their hand. <laughs> it kind of broke my heart a little bit. You look oh. nice today. It's a really good show. You look nice today and all that. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? 
Right. So, uh... <laughs> kind of oh, crappy. I gotta get this out of my ear. Yeah, so it doesn't care. <laughs> what? 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 She asked you a question. How are you? I'm How fine. are you? I had, I had Jesus. Thing. It's, it's, it's wow. echoey. I'm sorry. God. I, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm hopped up on vitamin water. You are rude. <laughs> Everybody's popped up on vitamin water. I'm gonna have to stop like six times between here and Columbus tonight on my way home. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. You're yeah. rubbing your leg up against me again. Um, <laughs> you can start fires. I like being touched. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now you you missed last. You you I moved to Tennessee. You're a Pittsburgher. Yes. <clears> and <throat> and uh, you you came back. I you, did. You returned. I, I drove ten and a half hours um, to come up from Nashville when visit the world. Wow. So. Why? Why? I had trouble waking up on time <laughs> <laughs> and traveling ten minutes. Oh, oh, Locabone <laughs> went home after the meet and greet yeah. Friday, came back yesterday for the yeah. session. Took a shower, went home, got more sleep than any of the organizers. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> only got eight hours. I'm like, I wish. Wow. Um, so, so, why? 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 Um. Well, because I was a part of it when I was here, and uh, just the people that are here, it's, and I, I brag about this to my friends in Nashville because I've, I've kind of gotten a little bit involved in the podcast community out there, and um, and I told all of them that, that this is by far and away one of the one of the best social media conferences on the East Coast. Wow. I don't think there's any way that you can that you can argue that based with the, the pedigree that, that this conference Suck has come on from. that, Boston. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, if I could have figured out a way to hit both, because Boston's <laughs> next weekend, if I could have figured out a way to do both, I would have, but, um, but no, I've got to get back to Nashville, but um, nothing is the, the, the social media and podcasting community in Nashville, it's, it's been very welcoming, and I've met a lot of really cool people there, but um, every time I come to this, I, I come away with something that makes me think, or stretches me in a different way, or, or kind of answers some questions for me. Stretches and, and me in a different way. This time, so. <laughs> Can awesome. capture that? Awesome. Uh, you want to share with everybody what you do, what, who you work for? Who I work for? <laughs> sure. So, sorry, my boss, if he's watching. Um, no, I actually, I uh, in 2010, I accepted a job and moved to Nashville to work for Rivals.com, which is owned by Yahoo Sports. Oh, yeah. Um, so I am actually a Yahoo employee. Um, apologies to the Google community here in Pittsburgh. Mm. Um, but they should have hired you first. <laughs> <laughs> they should have hired me first. I like that. Um, but no, so I, I work in high school sports, and I'm an editor. I, I keep an eye on um, 39 high school sites across the country, mm -hmm. and I'm the assistant editor of our national site, um, RivalsHigh.com. So there's a nice little plug for that. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a great move for me. Nashville's a great city. I miss Pittsburgh, but mm -hmm. it's been been a lot of fun and a lot of work. And then now I've heard a lot lately. Uh, I don't want to put you on the spot too much. Uh, you know, Yahoo. There's a lot of stuff going on there. You know, we hear what's going on with Delicious. You know, we've talked about it and everything. Um, I mean, you know, is your your rivals.com really kind of separate and away from from Yahoo uh, proper? I guess, or you know, like, are you pretty much your own entity, or do, is there a lot of kind of interaction with that? Um, it's it's changing. It's it's mm -hmm. evolving. When I first started, um, we were very much our own our own entity, mm -hmm. um, and we were kind of doing our own thing. And just within the last about six months or so, um, we've really started working a lot more closely with some of um, the people at Yahoo Sports, and especially with like front page programming and that kind of stuff. We've seen a great increase in the amount of, of content that we produce, um, promoted all the way up to the uh, all the way up to the Yahoo front page. Um, which obviously does huge things for our traffic numbers. Um, and so just recently we've really started working a lot more closely together and I think that's, that's proved to be very valuable for us, especially for our, our site publishers who are running individual sites, um, that they have the opportunity that if they write something really awesome that it could go all the way to the Yahoo front page. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had one of my site publishers has done that. He, he wrote a story and it made it all the way up there. And so as, as a producer on the network, it makes me very happy to see my publishers do well. But mm. um, but yeah, just having that cooperation now. Um, I mean, we are kind of isolated from all the, the the tech side. I would say that's not just true about rivals. It's more true about the editorial staff. Um, in general, there, there is kind of a division between editorial and tech. Um, mm. But yeah, we're definitely working a lot more together. It really does surprise me. I think everybody talks about you know they, they don't understand you know uh, people in our community don't seem to understand why Yahoo is doing you know well enough and everything. Uh, but I, you know there are plenty of people out there that still have Yahoo as their front page. Mm -hmm. You know I, I I've seen a lot of people I and mean, you know from you know 
back in the day, and it really is like a, back in the day. Yeah, you know, back in the day when when we had Yahoo commercials and mm-hmm. you know yeah. and all that kind. Of, you don't see that anymore. Um, and, and you know, I think they're one that's that's done pretty interesting in content. And you got a really good session. It, it'll be on video, of course, on uh, podcastpittsburgh.com uh, about the networking and how how you guys operate with all the different schools and all the mm-hmm. different local websites and how, how that operates. And that was really interesting to, to listen to. So, And also funny that there was a AOL writer in, yeah. the, in the room. <laughs> you uh, never know who you're, you're going to end up having in the room with you when you do the session. So it was, you know. I'm like, is there going to be a fight? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but uh, excellent, excellent. Are you going to return next year? Hopefully, um, if my schedule will allow, like I said, I had to, I had to pull some strings to get here this year um, mm-hmm. because obviously it is football season and uh, I totally didn't sleep. At all. I felt like I was back in the organizing team. I didn't sleep on Friday night because I was up late tracking scores from the West Coast and then got up at 7 to get down here in time. So, um, But hopefully I'll be able to, to make it back. Yeah, That's one point that was interesting. You get the scores from Twitter. From Twitter. Uh-huh. Um, huh. Yeah, what I, my job on, on Friday nights is I, I man our top 100 scoreboard. We at Rivals High Ranks, top 100 football teams, high school football teams across the country. Um, it's done actually by another Pittsburgher, uh, Dallas Jackson. We went to Robert Morris together, and he's now our senior analyst, and so he's the one. He's actually doing the rankings right now. When I get to Columbus, I have to edit them. Um, but I have a scoreboard that I, that I had to fill in with how all these 100 teams do every Friday night. And last year, I did kind of a combination between Twitter and the Associated Press. And I just finally found out that Twitter's just a heck of a lot faster. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I literally sit and t- sit on Twitter and enter the, and do a search on the two teams playing each other. And about 90% of the time, I could find either a reporter or a TV or a TV reporter or a um, an official school account that is actually at the game um, and tweeting the scores. And so I can use that information to fill in my scoreboard. Um, as long as it comes from a legitimate source. You know, if I get a couple fans that are out at a game, I have to see a final score from about three or four people that aren't retweeting each other to be able to run with it. But, um, you know, I, I had 78 games that I was chasing on Friday night, and I got all of my scores but three on Twitter on Friday night. Wow. Yeah. I, I, that, that's... That shows how much has changed. It has. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's tremendous. That's tremendous. So, thank you for joining us. Sure, for Rival- having me on. Rivals.com. 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 Rivals.com is our high school stuff. And uh, yeah, check us out. You went through that. You had a, a coupon code for people interested in that. Oh, coupon code. Yeah. Um, Might as well. Andrew, yeah, Andrew Chipazzi, who runs our high, our Pennsylvania high school site. For those of you that are here in Pennsylvania, not like me, who drive up from Nashville, um, he, he's, he's doing a really good job, kind of revitalizing that site. And he has graciously offered a 30-day free coupon code to his site. Um, so the the web address is um, papreps.rivals.com. And the coupon code is really simple. It's the same hashtag you've been using all weekend, PCPGH6. Um, enter it in all caps if you use it today. I haven't created the alternate code yet so that you can do it either way. But So it's all caps, PCPGH6 at papreps.rivals.com. And you can check it out for 30 days for free. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me on. See you guys next year, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, that was very. Why hasn't she been on the show before? I I, I didn't know what she did before. I, th- I think <laughs> I, until I sat her in a session yesterday. I'm like, this is a really good conversation. We need to put her on the list. Have. And I figured you'd be more Norm's than willing to talk. Norm's here. <laughs> oh, Norm. Oh, okay, we gotta get Norm on real Come quick. If he's got Norm. a second, have a sit down for with thirty us. seconds yes. with this shirt that fits. We don't we don't have much time. But Closing yeah. remarks is in like nine minutes. Right? Yeah. yeah, we got nine minutes. And then, uh, we gotta turn this down. And then this has to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> so we have thirty seconds to talk to Norm. Hi, Norm. Yes. Hi, Norm. Hey guys. So, uh, so, so, how was your pod camp, sir? Good. Good. I just uh, came up with a. This would be a good summary for me for pod camp. If Norm tweets at a pod camp uh, and no one hears it or no one reads it, is he still wrong? Sorry, <laughs> one of my mistakes. <laughs> Changing wow. rooms. No, it's been you know we growing uh, this year, and I think there were some growing pains we had, but. Uh, well, I think we got really comfortable over at the Art Institute. Exactly. And uh, and this year, you know, it, everything was changed up, and it was it was, uh, you know, it, it, and there was a lot of refiguring. You know, where we used to go to, to the AIP that we're very familiar with, and uh, is a new tech crew. It's uh, you know, and everything. Yeah. And when I say growing pains, I'm not. I don't. I don't mean it's a huge negative. It's just different. You know, like we're just learning, and you know, mm-hmm. we're a volunteer core group of people who are trying to put this metal on. So. Mm-hmm. So. And, and, and Point Park is tremendous. I, I think I, the, the facilities, it really feels like, I think I was talking to Justin the other night, it really feel, feels like PodCamp's kind of grown up. 
you know I mean we, we're in this nice wide open space and we're not like you know confined to hallways you know which were great for kind of trapping people into socializing a little bit uh, but, uh, but but it's been tremendous I've seen a lot of people lounging outside of the hub here uh, you know around in, the, in different in seats and everything um, and I, I think it's been really nice for that yeah so um, did you uh, did you have even an opportunity to sit in on a session this week? Actually, yeah, I sat in on some sessions today that were that were pretty cool. Um, the uh, what was it earlier in the morning? I sat in on the Hootsuite session, mm. uh, which was just kind of fun. And um, what was the school? Uh, unicorn social media and small business by Sean Graham, which was very very interesting about the unicorn part. So oh yeah, uh, yeah, this company's doing. Uh, if they basically have an internal. Uh, Twitter system for this company, but you can earn, they needed an incentive program of sorts to get people to use it. So like you can earn points within the system. And I think, I think that's how it went. Like you get like cool avatars and it's called Unicorn and it works for them. It's very successful, very interesting. So exciting? you have to go back and watch that session. Is it more exciting than Kiesel's beard? You know, I didn't, I saw a lot of tweets about that and I, I can't, I don't know enough to say yes or no to that question. But probably it, it's close because it's Twitter, man. It's what if there's a unicorn in Kiesel's beard? Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. So awesome. And uh, you're at itwixie.com now. I'm at itwixie.com, yeah. Awesome. So if you, if you need to know tweens, if you need to know anything about tweens, let me know and I'll help you out. He's the expert. He's the guy that talks. Sounds like I'm joking, but no. <laughs> but no, seriously, if you need to know about no, tweets, no, 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 seriously, he is your guy. We're all about it. Uh, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> Just thanks, so thanks, Norm. Thanks, uh, thanks, Norm. So uh, excellent. Well, yeah, I think it's we time to wrap this it up. up. Yeah. Let's yeah. Put button, the, button this up. You're stealing like other podcast uh, uh, terms. Um, other podcast terms. Yeah, other podcast terms. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, hey, you know, this is the awesome cast. Hey, you guys at home, that's not that's Chachi over there. There's <laughs> you guys at home, title. there's a title. you and you. And of course, and everybody you, can kind of contact you. us. Any thoughts? Hey, if you're watching this post pod camp, uh, hit us up with your thoughts about pod camp. Any, any sessions that you thought were worth mentioning that we didn't get to? Or of course, that we're at contact at awesomecast.com. 724 25 A cast, 724 252 2278. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> I wish we had music on the outro. Yeah. Thank you, Fuzzwad, for the uh, yeah. for the accordion, thank you, sir. the accordion intro, and thank you everybody for joining us. This has been your awesome cast. You've been our awesome audience. Woo! Yeah. for my entrance. Yes. That's the raw music. I'm kind of curious as to why there's a folder of my assets. Shachi's <laughs> assets. Uh, now nobody I, sees them. What am I hooked onto here? Uh, and what do you mean by that. assets? That. That's, like, that's like your intro. Oh, God. Oh, okay. The thing came out of the hole. Oh, no. So anyone want to take a guess hole. why neighbors hate the accordion player? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
me see it. Let me see it. No. Nope. Let me see it. I should probably move that. We should probably move out of the way when you put that one up. Nope. <laughs> not anymore, you're not. This is going to be a lot of work. Wait, so if this one's not going on the TV... No, the, do whatever you want. Yes! But... Fuck just yes! Just understand, I'm going to have to... I, I, I'm going to. Yeah. You. Slideshow. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's pretty... It's the right height and everything. Nice! You can do a lot better with that than I'm looking. Yeah. What about the other one that you can't show yet? You think that'll work? It'll be it's the, it's it's the, the exact same. same. Thing. Okay. So, hey, it's me. Hey, how am I? Oh no, where where? Where's the thing? What thing? The. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, where's the? It's oh. the green light. You're Rob? pointing at it, Rob. This thing. <laughs> and then this is that over there. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say boner. Boner! 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 Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. So that's the wrong crowd. You bring Ellen Boner. Man. What are, they, what are they here for this show? I have no idea. <laughs> this is gonna be a sh- It's gonna be a sh- Wait. Before we, s- before we start... I can hardly see. Are we actually gonna be talking about tech? We're gonna talk about podcast. How? The Nebraska, how are we... Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Fit it in. Okay. Hey, you know what Nebraska doesn't have? Right, There's that's the easy one. <laughs> did you see the same thing last night? He did. Like, word for word, he what? said the same thing. What? That you just said. Oh. Yeah. Well. As like a, like, you know, the one thing you're probably going to do is who are going to volunteer from the audience to come out? To do what? To, to talk with us. Or are oh. just going to be us? Well, well I assume, us. uh... We could get Norm. Norm. We, we got, Norm. we got all... I mean, Beth is going to come up. Beth's going to come up. Oh, Beth I got that gonna, right here. You got good? Yeah. Okay. Do you um, have an appropriate angle for that? Uh, well, I'll, I'll set one up. Can you, okay. can you work with the camera when need be? Okay. Um, when he's done with the accordion, it's going to need to come back over here, too. Right. So... Can I have a microphone? Hey, uh, hey Chris, would yet? you be interested in being on the internet with Beth's bottom? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we already okay, talked about good, that. Okay, good, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. We've already had the butt talk. The butt talk. Yes, the butt talk has been had with yeah. you. We can, we can have them on, we can have... Uh... We discussed ass before you got here, Rob. You know who I want to have on? What? Lonely Sandwich. He's here. He's right there. Oh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> if John Gruber and Adam Lizagor had a baby, it would look like you. <laughs> is that a compliment? I don't know who John Gruber is, but I know that at least half that is a compliment. Yes. <laughs> John Gruber is DaringFireball.net, the guy who did the, the, the bloggy talk with Merlin that Jeremy was referencing. Am I supposed to do anything with this, or is oh, this you just... Put that on. Okay, I wasn't sure if we were... Yeah. Okay. It's been a long weekend. Is there, is there optimal placement for one of these? Nah, things? I just stick it wherever. It's, wherever it's you can. Cool. It. Maybe you can kind of... Oh, wait, I have a name tag. Don't put it on your name tag. <laughs> just Dan put my mic down here. We'll just hear your crotch. Just hear the ruffling of my pants. Ruffle, 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 ruffle. Ruffle, ruffle, pants, ruffle, ruffle, ruffle pants. Ruffle, ruffle, pants. Roughly pants. Roughly pants. So are these, these are just recording the thing, or are these recording the thing? Or is everything recording the thing? This yeah. is all this. Okay. This and this is for them. That. Okay. All right. This is for them. That's for them. That's for, oh, hi. Hello. Give me the mic. Why don't you warm them up? Hello. Say hi. Do some stand-up. Hi. <laughs> hey there, everybody. Take your pants off. <laughs> what the hell? What time is it? Are we doing a thing yet? What it's about got? the time. It's like it's two minutes. You got two minutes. Yeah. So, so if you have any words you want to get out. Words I want to get out? It doesn't matter today. Ugh. Because. It's much easier to get the words out when, when there's not this many people in here. I know. I mean. Well, it's just I don't us. Wanna... It's easy to get the words out. It really is. You should put a parental discretion in front of that. In front of, in front of what? That? Like, like an advisory? 
<laughs> oh, you mean before I do it, I should see if there are any children. You should look away. Look away! Look away! There's nothing, nothing to see. Nothing to see! Here. Look away! Look at the bumblebee! It is metal. My 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 chargey thingy snapped to it when I put it on. <laughs> nice. Snap. Magnet. Snippy snap. Magnet. What are you doing? This is a smaller audience. It's testing year. the audio. It just looks smaller because it's a bigger room. Check check. No, check. It's, it's smaller. Check it check check your taint check your taint. Check your taint. No, you're you're good. Check. All right. Taint 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 taint. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh. We, ha we haven't really officially done a thing yet. Are you ready to... He's having a moment. I'm testing. He's testing. Once he's done testing, we'll do it. I don't think this mic is on. going to do a thing. Yeah, it is. Is it? It's on. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. I, I don't know which one. You know, if you want to know if it's on, all you have to do is this. And see if it... Oh, he didn't flinch. Yeah. That's new. It's not on. It's not on, is it? I don't think it's on. Is this one on? I don't know. Apparently not. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that one's on. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on. It's on now. <laughs> I'm not in this shot. <laughs> yeah, you're not in the shot at all. You could you could tilt a little more. I mean, yeah. he's he's got his own camera over there, yeah. so. You don't need him. There, there you go. Yeah, get in the business. That guy. Get in the business. In the business of us. Now I'm business. all the way over here. Right. Oh, no, over here. Hey, Rob. Hi. Oh, hey. wow. Hey. E. Hey. Ah, no. don't touch don't. me there. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, where is everybody, man? What are we competing with here? <laughs> All right. What is it? Okay. It's time for the shit talking to start. <laughs> I'm sick of this. We're gonna call out. Um, <clears throat> only politicals happening. I think. We have mob uh, profits. Finding your social soul with Sean Graham. Do you have your social soul, Mike? Do you know? I sold it. You sold your social, sold soul? social soul. That's the follow-up session. Um, that's 201. That's 201. That's 201. 201. I sold my soul. Uh, motivate me, a nonprofit's guide to engaging individuals. Oh, okay. That sounds warm and fuzzy. Well, let's see if this starts that's working. This is not my kind of business. Let's see if people can hear us. I don't know. Hello? Can you hear us? Is, I, yeah, yeah. Hello? Yeah, there's a thing there. You moved his foot. I don't know if this all works. <laughs> yeah, they can. There's I'm not that many people. We're going to talk loud and, and stuff. We're, we're going to be boisterous and funny. annoying, so. Um, hey, my mom texted me. Yeah. Hi, mom. Do we, do we need this? I, I don't know about this. I don't but think we need I mean, that. If we, like, I think be, I, well, I mean, we have this. I need that. This is fine. I need that. This here. Do you need this? Okay, if you go anywhere, yeah, take that. Yeah, if you wander away. I think that picks If you want to pass it out in the... I mean, we, we sound pretty good, right? Yeah, th there's not that many people can here. Can you hear us? I'm going to cry in a minute. Can you, you hear, hear us? Was that the wave? Yeah. Hi. You need to turn it on. Can you hear? We're just going to no. bullshit for 45 minutes. Are we getting started? Is that what's going on? I think uh, we're about to start. Okay. Do you want to do the intro? Or do I you want think to start uh, live internet game show session. There's a live internet game show. That's where. I know. I was kind of upset that I was missing that. <sighs> That's. I don't have anything nice to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> about me not being upset that I was missing. I'm that? glad it doesn't say who's hosting it because yeah. then I'm really not worried about hurting any feelings. Right. Exactly. Wait. What is? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm touching both sides of the conversation. Both sides of the conversation. That would require an A-B conversation, which is not really happening. You suck at this. <laughs> uh, Everybody's going to hear you really good. Everybody yes. will Everybody hear me. Will. Everybody will. That's good. Let's see who's out there. Swing my... Are we, we should start at this point. I mean... We, should we start at this point? It's not going to get...